Hello you all techies out there. Would like to welcome you all on my YouTube channel White Eye Security. Here on this channel we focus on real technical configuration related to cloud, cloud security, network security and, and many more technical topics. So yeah, without further delay, let's get started with our topics for today. And yeah, I would like to thank you in advance for watching. Hello everyone. Uh, so in today's video, our agenda is to review about Microsoft Central Workbook. So basically, Microsoft Central Workbook are a way to create and show customizable and interactive reports or you can say dashboard uh, that can display graph, charts and table. Basically, these workbook are also based on a KQL query, which is your custom query language. So basically, most of the things are you know done through custom query language in, in Microsoft Sentinel. And again, uh, similarly, uh, like for analytic rules and you know other things, Microsoft Sentinel provides pre-built templates for workbook as well. So you can you know use those pre-built templates and you can take them and customize them as per your use cases. And again, I mean whatever data connectors are there, most of the data connectors uh, have their own you know workbook which you can check and you know use as per your requirement. So in this video. We are going to review the pre-built templates uh, for workbook as well as we are going to you know, create uh, some customizable uh, workbook or you, know, you can say interactive dashboard based on some customizable query as well. So first of all, let's go to the Azure portal and see what are the built-in templates uh, uh, are there in the portal. So this is the portal once again for Microsoft Sentinel. And if you go to incident, let me show you uh, first of all this security efficiency workbook. What exactly uh, this talks about? So basically this security efficiency uh, workbook is all about incident. So here you can see what are the total incident uh, from last 30 days. Like you can see 200 incident in last 30 days. You can see uh, the different categories uh, like uh, how many low, how many medium, how many high incident were there. So you can see 32 high, 33 low and 135 medium. Again, I mean, you can see uh, how much incident, you know, are assigned to which, which particular user. So two are assigned to white eye security, 190 are non-assigned. Similarly, you can check incident created by status. So how many close, how many opens, you know, how many deleted or something like that. So basically, this is the workbook which you can use to prepare your reports or you know dashboards or you know powerpoint presentation that reflects the data for you know last 30 days or something like that to you know show to your management show to your team or you know to take take decision based on that security decisions you know based on these incident so basically you can you know grab the screenshots from here or you know and you can customize those things as well like these many incident happened in last 30 days you know these were the categories that's why you know that's what we are looking for and more information is also there so if you go down you can check you know incident created by its severity over time so you can see the timeline as well then again you can see incident created by its status over time similarly the different data connectors which are there in microsoft sentinel you can see the categorization based on these as well like incident created by product over time similarly you can see incident created by tactics over time, which is again, I mean, mapping to that MITRE framework, like we already discussed that, you know, each and every incident are mapped to one or more MITRE techniques uh, in Azure Sentinel. So from here, you can identify that, you know, on which uh, area or part of your organization you are, you are targeted. So basically judging from here, the, you know, major category is credential access. We can identify that you know, we are attacked on identity part. So similarly, in our production environment, uh, you can, you know, get an idea based on these tactics that, you know, on which area we are being targeted. Similarly, incident created by tags over time and a you know, whole lot of information is there. Let's move ahead and see what are the different, you know, uh, workbooks which are available for different data connectors. So if I go to workbook option in Microsoft Sentinel, you can see there are 133 templates already built in. So basically, like the data connectors, you can see there are, you know, corresponding workbooks for, you know, most of the data connectors here. So let's quickly go ahead and check this one, uh, Azure Audit uh, Activities and Sign-in Logs, what exactly, you know, it uh, gives us. So if I open this uh, from here, you can, you know, change your time range for whatever days of data you want to look. I will click on last 30 days. 
so now it will show me the data from last 30 days so basically uh, this is giving me a uh, login events by result so successful sign in or you know application has x doesn't have permission count login you know types per four hours so basically this is helpful to you know identify patterns of your sign in so you are seeing some you know spike uh, throughout the you know those four hours you can see something is wrong you know like why this is high at this particular time uh, you can see successful login uh, login locations from here so i'm signing from delhi india to this particular tenant so basically you can see all those details here as well like from where the users are signing into your tenant similarly here you have successful login by application so here you can see what are the different application which users are signing into from from you know this particular tenant uh, so you can you know get an idea about you know these top 10 applications like you know what application users are using mostly or you know on a on a particular month if some new application is popped in here you can see you know what is what application is this and you know, how critical it is to use that particular application so yeah, visibility into the applications which users are signing in, you can get it from here as well. Similarly, if we go down, audit logs are there. So you can see top 10 operation by success rate, top 10, you know, most failed operation. So basically you can see top 10 operation by success rate, top 10 most failed operation. So you can get visibility, you know, what is happening across your tenant, like, you know, what exactly users are doing or administrators are doing mostly you will get those top 10 operations here and you know what are the top most 10 failed operations so you can see at service principle is the most failed one so basically from here as well you can decide you know on on which part your administrator is having problems issues you know or, or the users are having issues like you know sometimes self service password reset and all those things are there so basically it's a lot of visibility you can get from here within these workbooks and you can easily use them to prepare reports let's go ahead and see how we can create uh, some you know customizable dashboards with the help of kql carry uh, you know uh, so which are not available you know to you by default so let me give you an example i will take this query so this query basically you know checking about the last 90 days security uh, incident so let me quickly run this and see the results so basically to create those dashboard you can you know uh, first you have to make your own query and you know get the result like this so now i will go to this option chart and i will click on this one so let's see how what are the option it is giving me so similarly i can get more option from here i can choose you know what will be my chart type so let me choose pi similarly here and uh, what exactly i want to see so let me uh give you an idea like uh, what are the different options are there so you can see severity status and you know all those things are there so according to your use case you can choose let me uh, show you to you know uh, create a description interactive dashboard so i will click on description and here i don't want to you know split my data by anything so i just click on split by let it open it's just being little slow I will click on this one and deselect everything. So right now you will see that it will give me a very good interactive dashboard about the description of those alerts, which I have like 200 incidents are there. From here, you can choose the aggregation type. Right now it is on some. You can choose the average or maximum or minimum. So let me choose average. So it will give you or the percentage by categorization. Uh, you know uh, of those incident like 2% of this kind of incident you know and all that stuff so basically this is a quick example how you can take a KQL query and build your own dashboards so right now you can see what are the top incident in your environment from here from this percentage wise and you can see the description uh, at the bottom with the color code and all that stuff so basically it's a good way to you know prepare the presentation or you know something like that which may be required at the end of the month or you know to show show to your stakeholders your managers or you know to your team so yeah that's basically a uh, idea about you know how you can use the built-in workbooks and how you can create a customizable dashboard as well with the help of kql query
so yeah that's it for this video i hope this has been informative to you and i would like to see you on the next one Any